Okay, so as you can see, I just brought in I brought in a new photo to Photoshop, and in this photo, we're actually going to do a human this time. And so now, what we're going to do is just separate her from the background, just like we did, just like we did with the lion. And so it's just the same technique, just a different subject. And so we're going to do the quick selection tool once more, or not the quick selection tool. We're going to yeah, we're going to do the quick selection tool. Sorry. <clears throat> And so once you have the quick selection tool um, open, you want to just click the majority of um, you want to just click the majority of your subject. This may take a while, but don't rush it, like I always say in my videos. You can always decrease the um, you can always decrease the size of your brush if you want to. Like you see right here, how I have this huge like loop of hair, I can always change the size down a little bit. And just do that. And so once you have majority of your uh, subject selected, you want to go to this refine edge tool once more. And once you have that open, you want to click the smart radius again. And you want to just go around her and just get any spots you think they would they would have missed. And sometimes if you overdo it, um, it can mess up the image a little bit. It'll give it like a bleachy look for some reason. This may take some time some time but it's it's a cool effect I like it Okay, so once you're finished um, getting all of your subjects selected, what you can do now is just drag and drop her into any um, any background or whatever you want. So now you see I have I have deleted all the blue in the background, and I've um, I've just taken her away from that um, from the sky she was um, from what she was first in. So now now what you can do is go up to this tab right here. Um, just drag her down and you can see it looks really good you can see I've got all the blood of her hair and it just looks really flowing and um, you can see that um, there's no like it doesn't look all pixelated like it sometimes may um, that's why this refine edge tool is very great in Adobe Photoshop because it gets all that pixelated stuff just out of there it makes it really nice and smooth from the naked eye so yeah I'm really glad with this tool and how it comes out um, Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to um, my channel. I have many other Photoshop tutorials, and I hope that you like them all. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.